Why are we out here today? Well, Blood River is a new addition to the state nature preserve system, and its mix of excellent wetland and upland habitats should make it a hot spot for wildlife. John thinks there may be as many as 75 species of reptiles and amphibians here, and we're gonna help find a few. Every species out there plays a slightly different role, and, and, uh, <clears throat> and you really you need all the parts in order to make the, to make the engine run. And uh, to me, that's the main importance of biodiversity. Amphibians and reptiles are, are really important players in, in, in the ecosystem. Uh, a lot of the snakes are significant uh, because they, they're major uh, controllers of uh, rats and mice. A lot of the frogs and salamanders are major controllers of insects. Well, there's a little species called the zigzag salamander that probably is out here, but I haven't found it yet. Zigzag salamanders, one of their major foods was the larval stages of ticks. So these little salamanders living on the forest floor are helping control ticks. I mean, how cool is that? When you're looking for reptiles and amphibians, you know you're gonna be turning over a lot of logs and stones. There's no better way to revisit your childhood in the great outdoors than this. Yeah, the rule Oh, here we go. It's got something, I don't know what it is, John. Well, get it. Oh, okay, that's, that's a marbled salamander. Yeah, is that rare or not rare? Uh, or that, that's a pretty common species. But these, get, these uh, marbled salamanders actually, uh, they lay their eggs in swampy areas in the fall and then the larvae transform and then they move into upland habitats. So this guy <laughs> probably originated down in the swamp at the bottom of the hill. Huh. And uh, then they'll sometimes move as far as a, a quarter mile to a half mile away from their breeding site. He's got beautiful mm -hmm. eyes. I have to say, they stick to their It should be like and... coal black. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of funny, these guys will, uh, they prefer termites to ants <laughs> because termites apparently have a much higher quality meat in them. Oop. Hey, hey. There hey. You go. This, is, this is called a, uh, an earth snake, a western earth snake. It's a, this one's about half grown. So this one's two years old, I would okay. say. Uh, this is a, one of our smallest native snakes, lives in the woods, uh, feeds on earthworms, slugs, termites, um, just various <clears throat> little woodland creatures. So he's two years old, what's his lifespan? Uh, no one really knows really? something like this. Coal skinks are in Kentucky, that's, that's probably our rarest lizard in the state but this is also uh, the only place in the state where anyone's actually found a female with eggs. Um, and uh, this female that we found today has dug a uh, nesting cavity, and I would say she's going to probably be laying eggs uh, sometime within the next three to four weeks. A skink is a type of lizard. Uh, now, to many people, a lizard is anything with four legs and a tail that's running around on the ground, but actually, True lizards have, have claws and, uh, and they have scales. And in Kentucky, we have eight different kinds of lizards. And uh, so a, the skinks are just one group. They're, they're real shiny, real fast moving. Their tails come off real easily. They're real common in Jefferson County and they live on, on brick houses. And they'll, be, they'll run up and down the walls and they're, they're feeding on uh, crickets and grasshoppers and roaches and wasps. I mean, a skink. A skink will eat paper wasps or yellow jackets. That's one reason the skinks are so shiny. The, the bees can't sting through that, uh, through those scales because they fit together too closely.
<laughs> this, this is a pretty good day so far. Um, it, what, what, does that mean it's a good area to find? Yeah, this, this, is, this is a good area and it has a lot of species and we're doing, we're doing really well. This is called a spotted dusky salamander. Okay, rare. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> they, this is the dusky salamander that is found in Land Between the Lakes, um, the southern part of Livingston County, and the Jackson Purchase. Now, in the Jackson Purchase, it's really rare. Now, the, the way you recognize the, this, and it's going to be hard to see in this light, but there's a, an orange-colored bar that goes from his eye down to the back of his mouth. Oh, I can see it. Uh -huh. Anyway, this guy's about half grown. Um, one thing about the dusky salamander is if you look at him, his back legs are, are bigger than the front legs. And mm. it's one of the few salamanders that can actually jump. <laughs> so, which, and he's very good at it. And that guy's another reason why wetlands are so important. Yeah, this guy's actually, he's dependent on spring-fed, spring-fed spring -fed wetlands and spring-fed tiny creeks. And uh, we're fortunate enough to be at one yeah. of the best This is great, this is great to find this here. Oh, look at that, beautiful. We have two kinds of ringnecks in the state, the eastern and the Mississippi. And the way you recognize a Mississippi ringneck is by looking at the belly. <laughs> Brightly colored. Look at that. Yeah. Um, actually, <laughs> this particular ringneck should have more than one row of dots. Black huh. dots, but it only has one row. What, okay. does that, what does that tell you? Well, it's interesting. It should also have a, the Mississippi ringneck should have a dark interruption in the neck ring. And this doesn't. What, so is this a so, new species? Uh, no, this, this actually appears to be, uh, at least have some eastern ringneck in it. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. So this, this is probably the furthest west that anyone has ever found a ringneck that had some eastern ringneck in it. Congratulations. <laughs> all, all the ones I've seen at Land Between the Lakes and in Callaway and Marshall have all been good Mississippi ringnecks. <laughs> so this is pretty neat. Uh, these guys live in the woods. Uh, this is adult size. So they get up to maybe uh, 15, 16 inches. This is a major predator on salamanders. Hmm. <laughs> and also slugs, uh, earthworms termites, grubs. Really? Well, that's so, a good thing. This is the only snake I know of that actually will eat roaches. But completely harmless, and probably in every county in Kentucky, there's some kind of ringneck snake. This is pretty good for just a few hours, and, and really, they were just three of us looking. And uh, I, I was real impressed. It's just real good western Kentucky hillside and hilltop habitat and it ought to have pretty much a full complement. I would say just about everything that's at land between the lakes has a chance of being here.